to have a better like sound experience with our TV um, in our living room. And so we got the sound bar and subwoofer. Um, our TV is Dolby Atmos. It d does Dolby Atmos sound. And the sound bar and subwoofer are also Dolby Atmos sound. Um, so it provides really good sound quality. Um, the sound bar is like nice and sleek. It's nice and, and small and thin, so it's not gonna take up a whole lot of space. And the subwoofer is not huge as either. Um, there's multiple ways that you can hook this up. So on the back here, you can see um, the DC plug plugs into here for you to plug it into the wall. Um, you can do optical, so it comes with the little optical cord. You can do coaxial. It doesn't come with that cord, um, but if, if that's something that you want to use, it does have that um, capability. You have the aux cord, comes with the aux cord, and you can also plug in a USB, um, so if you needed to use that for, uh, for the sound bar, you can, and then you can use it with HDMI, so it comes with the HDMI cord. Um, so there's multiple ways that you can use this. You can also do Bluetooth, so it is Bluetooth. Um, you can connect it with Bluetooth. Um, the bottom has these nice like little rubber feet um, to keep from like scratching up your table or anything like that and to keep it like sturdy and in, in place. Uh, but it's just like super nice. On the side here is the buttons, um, but so if you needed to use the side or use the buttons you could but it does come with a remote uh, for you to control it and then the subwoofer also has the little feet on them as well you can mount the side uh, the sound bar so it has where you can mount it if you'd like to um, but just looks nice sitting out but I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the TV and show you what it sounds like all right so we've got the sound bar and the subwoofer hooked up um, it produces 200 watts of sound. It gets really loud. This is just the sound bar plugged in right now. So the 32, it's got really, really good sound. Uh, but you can also, if you wanted multiple layers of sound, you can have the noise coming out of the TV and the subwoofer. And it's got that like nice, like 360 degree feel when it comes to the sound. Um, but there's multiple. So this is on. Adobe Atmos right now, um, and I can turn that off if I wanted to. So that's without the Dolby. This is with the Dolby. Um, there's different um, ways that you can set it. So if you have the different media that you're listening to, so if you wanted to listen to like news, like regular TV, movie, and then um, music. This is music. So it optimizes the sound for whatever media you're using. Um, and uh, there's, we've got it connected with the optical cord. Um, if you wanted to switch it out, if you had it plugged in with different cords, you could um, do the aux, or you could do um, the HDMI, and you could change it in that mode. But, uh, but it just sounds super nice. Like, just listen to the sound. 